What's this? A letter for me. Welcome to another episode of Through the Mail Thursdays with Remember the Great Sports. Today we're going to go through three envelopes and I'm going to readjust my screen there. And uh, we're going to uh, go through these and uh, see who we got back. So the first person is postmarked from California. And this is former... Toronto Blue Jay, Mark Echorn, or Echorn, on one, two, three, four, and a fifth one on a minor league all-star card. Um, Mark Echorn uh, came up with the Blue Jays. And he spent uh, quite a few years, actually, with them. Uh, he had two stints with the team, so it was not all consecutive. But he played for a total of six years with the Toronto Blue Jays. I'm going to get that one a little bit better on camera there. And uh, after spending one, two, three, four seasons with the Blue Jays out of their bullpen... Uh, he only started seven games his entire career and appeared in 563. So he's primarily a, a middle reliever, you know, closer, setup man type of person. I wouldn't quite call him a closer, but um, he did save 13 games one year for the Angels. But uh, he was up with the uh, Blue Jays at 21 years old. Uh, he was sent back to the minors after that for about three or four seasons, it appears. And then he spent 1986, 87, and 88 with the Blue Jays. Well, in the offseason after 1988, um, the Blue Jays sold him to the Atlanta Braves. And he had he struggled a little bit with the Braves, and they actually demoted him to AAA, which is what that card is. And um, after that season was up, the Braves gave him his unconditional release, and he signed with the California Angels. Well, the Angels uh, had him for a couple seasons uh, in 1990, 91, and 92. During the 1992 season, however, he was traded back to the Blue Jays during the season. And he was able to be on the 1992 and 93 world champion Toronto Blue Jays. So he got two World Series rings. After his time in 93 with the Blue Jays, he went to the Baltimore Orioles. Then uh, he missed the 95 season due to injury. And in 1996, he went back to the California Angels for his final season at 35 years old. And after that season, retired. Thank you very much for signing those cards for me, Mr. Eckhorn. I really appreciate that. And those are an awesome addition to my collection. The next person we are discussing is former Minnesota Twin, Tom Bernanski, and also St. Louis Cardinal on four cards. And Got another Diamond King signed. Uh, Tom Bernanski came up with the Minnesota Twins. He was a very viable part of their outfield for many years. He actually spent seven years patrolling right field for the Twins. Uh, I do take that back. Let me rephrase. Uh, Mr. Bernanski actually came up with the California Angels originally before the Twins acquired him. Uh, he was traded by the Angels during the 1982 season to the Twins. He spent his time with the Twins, which was probably his most productive years, and then in April of 1988, once the season started, the Minnesota Twins traded him to the St. Louis Cardinals. A pair for Tommy Herr. Now, after he spent a couple seasons with the Cardinals, the Cardinals decided they no longer needed his talents, 
and they traded him for eventual Hall of Famer Lee Smith to the Boston Red Sox. So in return, the Cardinals got a closer, which would become a Hall of Famer, out of Lee Smith. After the 1990 season, um, he was a free agent, but he chose to resign with the Red Sox, where he spent a couple seasons with them, uh, one, two, three seasons with them. After the 92 season, however, he was again a free agent and went to the Brewers for a couple of years, but then returned back to Boston after the Brewers traded him back in the 94 season. After the 1994 season, the strike-shortened season pretty much ended his career, where uh, he was at 33 years old, and basically he didn't have a place to play. So after 1994, he retired. Um, since then, he has coached, uh, I believe, at the major league and minor league levels. Um, not too sure if he's still with the Minnesota Twins in a coaching capacity, I know he was under Paul Molitor's staff, but since Mr. Molitor was let go from his coaching duties, I don't know if Mr. Bernanski was retained. Uh, maybe a Minnesota Twin fan can uh, share that one with me. But uh, nonetheless, uh, Bernanski is a great signer, and I recommend if you get a chance to write him, definitely send through him through the mail. All right, now this final one. is another great from that time period and that is Mr. Joe Oliver on one, two, three, and four Cincinnati Reds cards. Now Joe Oliver was part of the 1990 Reds championship team. Uh, he actually played for the Reds, I believe, the most of his career. Uh, however, he did play for a couple other teams besides the Reds. Uh, he was with the Detroit Tigers, the Seattle Mariners twice, the Pittsburgh Pirates, the New York Yankees, I was unaware of that, and also the Boston Red Sox. He spent the 2001 season with the Yankees and the Red Sox, which was his final season. I was not aware of that. Um, primarily used as a backup towards the end of his career, but he was the starting catcher uh, for a little while for the Reds. Uh, the 1990 season, he was kind of a, uh, he, start, he played in 121 games, so he didn't catch every game for the 1990 Reds, but he was a very important part of that uh, catching staff and on that team. Uh, 92 and 93, he also was pretty much the full-time catcher. And uh, after that, the uh, Reds, looks like he must have got injured. Oh, yeah, it looks like he must have been injured in 1994 because he only appeared in six games for the Reds. And then he was given his release after that season. Uh, however, he did return to the Reds a couple years later after spending some time with the Brewers. So overall, um, a 13-year major league career. Uh, he hit he hit a few home runs. He hit 102 home runs, you know, for a catcher that's not bad. Has a lifetime 247 batting average and again, you know, for a catcher that's, you know, some pretty good numbers actually. Uh, to spend 13 years in the majors is definitely an accomplishment. Uh, I believe now he is in the coaching ranks in the minor leagues. Uh, he is, I want to say, with the Boston Red Sox organization, uh, from what I understand. So he is uh, definitely somebody that is still very involved with the game, even to this day. Um, I would take a guess, as most catchers are, he's probably a very knowledgeable baseball person and most of the time when you have catchers that go into the coaching ranks they're some of the, the best coaches out there because they know so many facets of the game. So again thank you Mr. Bernanski, Mr. Oliver, and Mr. Eckhorn for signing. I really appreciate that. Um, one thing to point out about this 
Canadian Greats team or card. This is actually a Leaf version, which is a Canadian version of the 87 Donneris. And this card was only printed in Canada. Like, you could not get this out of an 87 pack because they only did one card for the Expos and they did one card for the Blue Jays. And Mr. Echorn or Echorn was the one that they selected that year. So, pretty cool fact about that. Uh, it's like a Diamond King, like the Tom Bernanski, but not quite quite the same. So, same artist, but same same type of concept there. So... Thank you again for joining me for another episode, and I look forward to your comments below.